Today we'll be taking a look to see exactly just how many heads there really are. From chimney head all the way to mechanical siren head all the way to mother megahorn? What? And of course, traffic light head. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. So at first I thought to myself, just how many of these heads, quote unquote, can there really be? And there's a lot more than I thought there was. If you guys don't know, I haven't really been in the Trevor Henderson sense in a while. I've kind of abandoned it and, you know, when Troll became popular I started doing more of that. But I even got sick of that pretty quick. So, the reason why we're coming back here is because I feel like it's an injustice that I have not shown a lot of this content. So instead of doing separate videos for each of them, I'm throwing all the heads I could find into one video. And I know you guys know how I feel about Trevor Henderson because it, well... That pretty much sums it up. I'm not a huge fan. Although, Candlehead seems to work with V-Fire, so hey, there's something cool. And yes, that is the first one we'll be taking a look at. Wait, is, is it taking damage? Okay, so apparently it can hurt itself with fire. That is interesting. So let's let them loose, because one thing I have to make clear is even though I'm not a fan of the whole Trevor Henderson thing anymore, I love what the King of Lizards did to these NPCs. Like that crazy arcane fire move right there, that's pretty badass, you gotta admit. I might not like the NPCs, but the attacks are pretty sick. Gotta be honest though, that running animation, ugh. Anyway, Kennelhead seems to throw out bits of fire every now and then, and it leaves a little puddle that can obviously burn you, and of course it can summon this crazy arcane blast out of nowhere. I think if you get too close to... Yeah, if you get too close, he'll just smack you. So let's go ahead and see if he has another attack. Nope. All right, so I think we should take a look to see... Ooh. What the? Okay, so that's what kept killing us. He pretty much throws out this crazy, like, blast that keeps shooting out flames. And if you're anywhere near that, you die. So if he puts that at the spawn, well, you're going to spawn die a lot. And I mean, just looking at that health bar, we could see... Oh, he... He actually is killing himself more than we are killing him. So damage wise, he takes a lot of damage. Like, holy cow, man. Chimney head. Okay, I wasn't even near that, but that's just the magic of chimney head. Now, in terms of design, I think this one looks okay. I mean, I like the whole, like, the shadow hands coming out of the smoke thing. That looks pretty neat. And, of course, the cool green effects are nice, too, which he seems to be leaving poison trails everywhere. Health-wise, we got 48k, man. Holy cow. I think it's safe to say that a lot of these NPCs are not meant to fight you, because... They're kind of OP. It's so bad, I can't get out of spawn, even with no clip. <laughs> oh my god, just let me live! I've literally cleaned up everything and I'm still dying. So although this seems pretty nice and dandy, and also pretty strong, there's a stronger version of him. I give you... Chimney Head Enraged. You can see now there is a green smog all throughout the skybox. And his health seems to be the same, but I imagine he's just a little bit more pissed off. Let's go ahead and see exactly what that looks like. Oh, wow. He took a lot of damage from that shotgun blast. You know, the funny thing is, it doesn't really matter if he's enraged. Because you're just gonna die constantly. I can't get away from this guy. What about Mecha Sa- Okay, man, this guy's pissed. Mecha Siren Head. He's got two massive guns on his shoulders. He's got a stretchy hand. And explosives up the wazoo. I mean, look at this. How are you supposed to kill this machine? Oh, and of course, he's got siren attacks because, well, he's Siren Head. Okay, this NPC is pretty bitchin'. I, 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 I gotta be honest with you guys. This is actually pretty badass. I think it's safe to say we cannot fight these NPCs, so we're going to have them fight other NPCs instead. Like a bunch of Combine Soldiers. Well, we can see how much good they did. Alright, let's do a proper battle with a bunch of Combine Elite Soldiers. By the way, he has 65,000 health, which is pretty good. Alright, this should be pretty quick work. I love that grappling hand. Oh my god, what was that? This man has moves up his freaking arse. It seems like he keeps pulling something out every time. Now, would you believe there's an enraged version? You can see there's like sound waves propagating all throughout his body. Also, it's important to note there's a Mecha Siren head turned off. He's just kind of chilling. 
I don't really know what that's all about. Maybe he'll wake up when you get too close or something? I think it's safe to say a lot of these NPCs are really hard to showcase because, well, they just kill you in one hit. Um, no, he's, he's just kind of chilling. Oh, oh, you turn, oh, oh. You can turn him on! And he doesn't like being turned on, apparently. The Great Mother Megaphone. Okay. I'm not a fan of this design, I'm gonna be honest. This thing looks pretty dumb. 78,000 health, though? This should be pretty good. Let's let him, or let her loose. And let's see exactly what she does. Oh yeah, we have ignore pl Okay. I'm gonna regret doing this. What? What? How did I get up here? Let me go, you beast. What is going on? Were we supposed to die? Okay, that was bizarre. We just teleported right into her mouth. Not my favorite thing. So with all this health, there it is again. That is so strange. So with all this health, I'm sure you can imagine that, yeah, it's not really feasible to kill this NPC under normal circumstances. Why does she keep doing that? I think we're supposed to die when she does that. She just wants to sit here and scream at us all day. Well, that's fine with me. Traffic lighthead. This is when it gets ridiculous. Like, just stupid. So we got a red blast, which I assume came from the red light. <laughs> we have yellow light now. Ooh, better slow down. And now it's green. Okay. Dude, what is your problem? So I don't know what the different lights indicate. I can only imagine they mean different attacks. Oh yes, there's yellow! Quite a concussive blast. What does green do though? I think that's the real question here. Okay, let's be honest, they probably do the same damn thing, they're just different colors. But still, a really cool design. I mean, using the actual lights as different methods of attacks, I think that's pretty clever, so I gotta give them credit for that. But this design, this design is stupid. But the attacks look pretty cool. Oh, he just cracked his neck. This man wants to tussle. Oh, well, I don't. He just- He bit slapped me! Alright. Alright, you wanna play that way? I think it's important to mention he's got a lot of punching and kicking moves as well. But you wanna tussle? Let's see if you like admin gun. Yeah, that's what I thought. We also have Traffic Lighthead. Almost peaceful. He's almost peaceful. I imagine- Ooh. What? He can jump? <laughs> I think when it's green, you can move around. And then when- Yeah, when it's red. He either turns evil or you stop, although that didn't seem to stop him. Now, what could be the last NPC? Easy. We have Cartoon Siren Head. He just looks like Siren Head, but he gains some weight. And he seems to just yell at us, and we die. And then we spawn, and he yells at us, and we die. This is definitely the lamest NPC in the whole pack. Well, this isn't really a pack, it's more so just a bunch of random NPCs I got from the King of Lizards. However, this NPC is just, it's not all that interesting. It's pretty lame, actually. It's important to note that you can possess all these NPCs, starting with Candle Lighthead. We have Left Click, which does a melee attack, but also occasionally, you'll spit out a random bit of fire, which can set yourself on fire. Right Click is your huge blast that stays around for a very long time. And then, of course, F is your crazy arcane flame blast. What a wild NPC. Also, yes, they can jump. Next up, we have Chimney Head, also known as Asshole Head, because everywhere he goes, he spawns this green smoke, which will occasionally just spawn kill you to oblivion. Anyway, left click, we have a kick, a slap, and another kick. So, just some nice little melee attacks here and there. Right click, though. This is when we bring the smack down. Quite literally, we got some punches, we got a head smack, which I imagine makes sense with all those arms we have. And then R, we have, well, another stomp, but I guess a bigger stomp? And from what I can gather, that's pretty much it. Alright, this one's gonna be fun. Mecha Siren Head. This is actually my favorite NPC of the whole pack, just because I love the idea of it. And of course it looks cool and the attacks are even better. So left click, we got some swings from all around and a kick as well. Right click is our guns, which we could just keep going constantly, although you cannot do them while you attack. F is our siren head attack, where we shoot out sound waves that propagate through your brain and make you die. 
Also R is the grappling hand, which I think looks really, really cool. There's also an explosive attack, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out what that is. I've pressed all the binds that it tends to be, maybe alt? Mother Megahorn, definitely the biggest NPC in the whole pack. Let's see what left click does. It's so strange, this NPC makes Construct look so small. Anyway, left click, we have a swing, a very slow swing. And then right click, we have our giant horn attack. And that's pretty much what you'll be seeing. F doesn't do anything, R does do something. It's a bit of a stomp here and there. And overall, a pretty simple and basic NPC. Traffic Lighthead. Oh yes. Left click, a kick, and a swing. Right click, a myriad of different swings. My favorite word. And R is shooting out whatever light you have at the time. Okay, so green is like a smoke or like a toxic orb. So yellow seems to be like a storm, and then green is like a smoke, which, by the way, you can hold the button to shoot out a bunch. And then red, red just seems to be your basic blast. Overall, I like the idea of the design and how the attacks work. Pretty sweet. And of course, last up, we have Cartoon Siren Head, which... Uh, creepy. Left click, we've got a kick, a swipe, and a headbutt. Right click, we got, of course, the siren attack. And then F doesn't seem to do anything, R doesn't seem to do anything. And that's pretty much it. I think the ultimate question now is which of these siren heads is the best? So we're going to pit them all against each other to see which one comes out on top. And here is your winner, Mecha Siren Head. Honestly, I had no doubt. Definitely the strongest of the entire pack. But let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like this video? Do you want to subscribe to see more? Definitely do that down below. Also, check out all the mods that were in this video down in the description, as well as my Facebook and Twitter and everything else. You guys are awesome. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell.